The Umbrella by Ingrid and Dieter Schubert. This book is a wordless picture book, so the author and illustrator are telling the story through pictures. Here on the cover, the title or name of the book is The Umbrella. And we see a picture of a dog in the air with an umbrella looking at a giraffe. So what do you think this story will be about? That's right. It's about an umbrella that carries around this ordinary little black dog so he can see many wonderful places and animals. What do you see? I see that the wind is blowing the colorful leaves and the curious little black dog is checking out the red umbrella that's leaning up against a tree. What do you think will happen next? Wow! The wind blew the red umbrella up into the sky carrying the little black dog with it. The dog is way up above his house and he looks like he's feeling scared. Ha! Huh. Now the little black dog isn't feeling scared anymore. He's up so high, he's on top of the puffy white clouds. Can you find any shapes in the clouds? Uh-oh, I think he's stepping into a hole. The little black dog and his umbrella fell out of the clouds, but he's not over his house anymore. Where is he? I see a waterfall and a river filled with crocodiles and hippos. I see tall giraffes. And I see gray elephants under the acacia trees. I see a rhino and zebras and antelopes in the brown grass. And look, there are fl pink flamingos flying in the sky. Ooh, and I see a lion hiding under a tree. Can you find him? Where are they? They must be in the savanna in Africa. Oh no! The little black dog landed near the crocodiles. It looks like the crocodiles and the snake are going to eat him. He's trying to use his umbrella to protect himself. But what's that behind him? The elephant picked up the little black dog with her trunk and saved him. She took him to the edge of a cliff and flung him out over the dry desert, past the camels and out towards the blue ocean. Ooh, I even see the sun setting. Splash! The little black dog is riding his umbrella on top of the waves. I'm glad he can float, but watch out for that wave. Now the little black dog is underwater in the ocean. He's next to a coral reef with lots of fish. Oh, and there's an octopus and a jellyfish and, oh, yikes, are those sharks? Is that a giant blue whale? Phew! The little black dog is safe again. The whale blew him out of its blowhole and back up into the air. Where could he possibly go next? <laughs> to an island with sea turtles on its beach. Now he's in a rainforest swinging from the vines with the monkeys and flying with the parrots. Oh no, 
Some of the people in a village in the rainforest were shooting arrows at the little dog. The friendly stork will carry the umbrella to safety. And carry him all the way to the top of a snow-covered mountain in the Arctic. The seals are barking and clapping for him. Arr, 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 arr. Whee! <laughs> the little black dog uses the umbrella to slide down the mountain and zoom past the snowshoe hares. The red umbrella catches the wind again and shoots the little black dog past the polar bears. Now it's getting late and the crescent moon comes up while the bats wake up to find their food. The sleepy little black dog is all tuckered out after all his adventures. Look! The wind has blown the little black dog back to the forest near his home. <laughs> the little black dog looks proud of all his adventures, but that cat looks curious. What do you think will happen next? The end. I hope you love this book as much as I do. I love seeing so many different places or habitats where the animals live, and it makes me want to use my imagination and dream about all the different places I could visit and all the different animals I would like to see. If you could be carried anywhere by an umbrella on a windy day, where would you go? What would you want to see? Draw it and make your own book. <laughs>